Hello, David Dominesi here. Today we're back at the 12 inch grinder and we're going to be finishing up making our spark arresters for it. So this is part number three. So we're going to turn this into our bracket and that'll go up here like that on the grinder. Somehow through the years it disappeared. I got this grinder from an old high school that closed their shop. That's what's taking place here in the state of California and probably all around the nation, but I'm not sure. They just don't have shop class anymore. Okay, the first thing we have to do is square off our blocks, and we're going to use the Tormach Superfly, and we need to put the high-speed steel insert in, and we'll install it in the three-quarter inch collet, and then get busy. Alright buddy, let's check your block that you made here. You think it's going to come out alright? Positive. Why is that? Because you made it? Yeah. Does that look like zero? Yeah. Wow. Wow. It's perfect. I think I'm teaching you too well. Good job. We'll test the other sides. All right, we've got you flipped over here. Let's see. I mean, come on. You did that with a mill. Good work. Let's flip it over and test the tall side. All right, buddy, here we are on the other side. Let's take a look. What does it look like there? It's half the adults. I think that's pretty good. We got a, about a thousandth that way. That's not too bad. Okay, good job. Thank you. So we'll put this on the mill and we'll mill that down to a half inch both ways. Mill that over to two and two hundred thousandths. I think we'll bring this to size with the fly cutter first. We'll do our first pass at 2500 RPM, 16 inches per minute, 100 thousandths depth of cut. We're
we're going to shave 23 thousandths off the top. <laughs> milled both blocks to size. Now we'll flip it over and do the same. Looking good so far. We're going to take our time to make these exactly the same size. We could have done this when we squared the blocks off, but we had a father and son competition going on, so we squared them off individually, and of course the son won. So we're going to run across here to get rid of any slight variations we have in between the blocks. <laughs> This is the last height we have to fix. That makes the blocks dimensionally the same now, and we're ready to cut out our brackets. We've got everything deburred with the file, and we're going to put in this two flute. I think that's inch and a quarter, three quarter inch shank, and we'll hog out this aluminum and make our bracket appear. Let's get this put in the collet. Looks like they came out pretty good. We need to drill and tap in here for these socket head cap screws. And then we'll have to drill some clearance holes to attach it to the grinder. We're over at the drill press now. We're going to drill these holes. We're going to be tapping them for 3 8 16. So we need to drill them out at 5 16. We'll start with a center drill. This is a single flute countersink. We'll put our spring loaded tap guide in. That ought to do it. We need to find the exact center of our bracket so that we can put our two clearance holes. 
So we'll use our center finder. Wait till it just slips. There it is. Our bracket is 2 and 120, so half is 1 and 60 thousandths. This tip here is 200 thousandths, so we'll move over 100 thousandths to be in the center, and then our 1 and 60 thousandths. That should be our center. And now we have to move an inch and 9 30 seconds. So that's an inch and 282 thousand. I'm just going to make a little dimple and then do a sanity check. I'd say we're pretty dead on. Well, they look like they fit pretty good. Look really nice. I still have some adjustments to do. I want the wheel to be centered on the arrestor, but you have to move the guard by undoing this lever here, right there. Then the guard slide. You've got plenty of clearance. You see how close it is there, how far away it is here. So you straighten up the wheel guard and that'll get that dialed in. And I've got plenty of adjustment here for when the wheel wears out. Get the other one done and installed and all finished up and then we'll move on to fly cutting our tool rest. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. David Dominesi. See you again soon.